Hello, welcome back to the channel. And we're going to get into this one. Hello, welcome back to Modern Mondays, and we're going to be having a beer from Boland Brewery in Cliverow, who've been brewing since 2003, so it's a Modern Monday beer, Holmes Mill, Cliverow, and this is the Hen Harrier, and this is a, I think it's a, is it a gold, what is it, yeah, it's a golden, spectacular golden pale ale, um, coming in at 4.5%, this was from Morrison's. So I look forward to getting into that. It's a new brewery to me again. Uh, Bowling Brewery, 2003. Named their beers after picturesque scenery and wildlife in the area. Uh, they've won numerous awards. Um, they do cask and bottle beers. Um, started in a milking parlour. And then they moved to a bigger premise, which was a textile mill. I think that's at Holmes Mill. Um, they got the bowl and beer hall where they can basically it's like they call it their tasting parlor for their cast beers and it's near the brewery uh, they do stouts gold nails ipas blondes bitters and pilsner so bowl and brewery let's get it cracked open see what it looks like get the aroma and get the taste looking forward to this so like i say it's from morrison's about one pound 80 a bottle at the time of purchase so I'm expecting it to be golden. Not too sure if it's bottle conditioned. I've not checked that out. It is golden. It's actually like a dark, darker gold than I was expecting. It's hard to tell on the camera there. Let's get it in. Let's get it all in if it's going to go. Nice white head. Nice creamy looking head as well. I think it's all going to go in. No, don't think that's bottle conditioned. I don't think it is. It could be, you know. Possibly, not too sure. Can't quite see what's at the bottom of there. Okay, so it's really clear. It's definitely clear. It's golden. It's actually lighter than the thought the first. It's a light gold. It's definitely a golden colour beer. Superb looking. Medium carbonation. It's like a just going up the middle there. It's not over carbonated. Looks superb. Let's get the aroma. Toffee, sweet toffee caramel. So what I'm saying there is malt forward the hops are really subtle at the back end at the back of the beer there what's coming through is their malts sweet toffee caramel <sighs> yeah sweet malts even like a white bread smells really really good that head stayed around as well nice like say white cream head formed okay cheers Okay, what to say? It is traditional tasting beer. It's nice. It's very malty. Hops, slight bitterness from the hops. Maybe a little bit of floral coming through from the hops. Carbonation is a lot lower on the tongue than it is actually in the glass. Medium to light body. That bitterness is staying around though. That's good. It's not. It's not dissipating it's not going away too quick it's quite a lingering long lasting flavor that bitterness dry makes you want to go back but i would say it's champion for the malt it's really good really nice it's a nice beer yeah it's all about the malt that beer 100 percent. and it's it's how can i say it's not offensive it's easy drinking Nothing to, nothing wrong with it at all. Not a bad beer. Like I say, from Morrison's, I think about £1.80 a bottle. I'd drink it again, for sure. What does it say actually on the bottle, if anything? It's like I say, it's a brewery totally new to me. Been around since 2003, though, so that's 20 years. Um, Hen Harrier just says contains barley and wheat. Um, it's got the www.bolandbrewery.com. <sighs> Pardon me. Bowling, Bowling Beer Company Limited, Holmes Mill, Greenacre Street, Clivero, and it's just got Bowling Brewery, Hen Harrier, and it says, Our top flight ale, a stunningly refreshing beer filled with soft citrus and peach flavours. No, not for me. 
No, not getting that. Not getting the citrus and peach flavours. So if I read the bottle first, I'm definitely not picking up on that. No, honestly. Slight floral note, and it's just malts. Slight sweetness there in the malt, and the bitterness. No citrus, no peach. But it's an okay beer. It's not bad. I'd have it again. I'd buy it again. No problem at all. It's something you could definitely drink in the summer. Um, but if you if if you're gonna go and look for citrus and peach, my personal opinion is it's not there. I'm not getting it. That might just be my taste buds though. Um, yeah, if if it, if it told you what hops were in there, it might you know see work it out. But I don't tell you the hops. But for me, it's a good beer. Not bad at all. I'd have another one. I'd even try, like I said, to do a stout, to do an IPA, do a blonde, to do a bitter, and to do a pilsner. I think it's well worth checking them out. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating.